Welcome to Off the Shelf with Economics. This is brought to you from the Bessie B. Moore Center for Economic Education in the Sam M. Walton College of Business at the University of Arkansas. Today, the book we're going to discuss is One Plastic Bag, Isa Tusise and the Recycling Women of the Gambi. So this is a beautiful book that tells the story of a problem in the Gambia. Isatu notices when she's a younger girl that there's a lot of plastic along the roads or as she walks home. So she just notes this and then sometime later she goes to her grandmother's and discovers that the goats have died because they ate plastic. So people use plastic for many things drop it alongside the road and the animals eat it. So she has this problem in that it's dirty, it's trash, and it's killing the animals. So Isatu decides she will solve the problem. So she sees her sister crocheting, decides she's going to try crocheting strips of the plastic bag. So she gets women to come with her, they clean the bags, and they figure out the process for designing these bags that you see here. So it's a great story for entrepreneurship, for social enterprise, because Isatu recognizes the problem and decides that she wants to remedy it and do something that makes her country better. So it solves an environmental problem, it solves a social problem, and it employs the women who decide to do it. At first they hide their production because they think people will make fun of them. This website for oneplasticbag.com has a lot of information. Here's a picture of the book, places where you can get it, information about the bags and so forth. Um, you can buy them. This is one of the bags in the corner here. Here's a picture from the book of her taking the bags and selling them. I'm sure if people will like them. One thing I like on the site is you can meet or you get a video. So here's her picture. Here's her story. But if you go down here, you can get a video of her telling the story about how it becomes a fashion that they made out of plastic bags. You can buy the book, which I always think is the best. I love having the book, but sometimes you might prefer to use the read aloud. So there's more than one read aloud, read aloud telling the story of Isa too. I would like to mention that the Kansas City Federal Reserve Bank has this lesson that teaches entrepreneurship, income, consumer uh, on their website at the KansasCityFed.org. Thank you for being for tuning in. Um, I would love feedback if you use this lesson. Again, thank you.